we can use this entire concept of time to our advantage. Welcome back to my channel and happy end of the month. A lot of people get so caught up in this illusion of life and detached from this human experience because they are so infatuated and curious with the spiritual realm and spiritual aspect of life and entirely forget that the reason we are here is to experience this life and to further develop our beings. That being said, today I'm going to be explaining how we can use the entire illusion of time to our advantage and create end of month rituals to further aid our growth and development as humans in this life. I strongly believe in end of month and beginning of month rituals because as I've stated in another video, life is entirely what you make of it. If you don't give your life meaning, there is no meaning. And that's the sad truth. The first part of this ritual is a lot easier if you already keep a calendar or a to-do list, multiple to-do lists. <laughs> what I like to do is write down all of my accomplishments from the month and it doesn't have to be crazy accomplishments like, oh, I got a raise, I did this. It can be anything like, I remained in tune with myself this month. I gave myself a good amount of mental health days this month. It doesn't have to be major accomplishments, but definitely put down the major accomplishments if you have the accomplishments. By thinking back and recognizing all the growth you've made within the last four weeks, this in turn creates growth by default. Acknowledging your growth is growth. Also, you don't have to do these things in the morning. You can do them in the afternoon, you can do them in the evening. It really doesn't matter when you do these as long as it's towards the end of the month. The next and most important, they're all super important, but this is really, really important to me. The next thing I do at the end of the month, I don't agree with dwelling on your mistakes as you manifest anything that you put your mind to. It's never a good idea to dwell on your mistakes or think back to them pretty Frequently. But at the end of every month, after acknowledging all my growth and success, I acknowledge and go back and try my best to remember any negative things I've done or said that my conscience is still holding on to. Now you can physically write these down if you feel like there's a lot that you have to get off your chest or you can just keep everything in the forefront of your head like, oh, I was really bitchy this month. Oh, you know what? This month I really wasn't kind to the people around me. I was very selfish and I didn't pay attention to the needs of others. Oh, this month I really said some hurtful things to my family. This month I really didn't support my friends or give my friends the support that they deserved. This month I talked a lot of shit. It's about owning up to the things and really acknowledging what you've done wrong or negative. What you've said or done that was negative that's still affecting your conscience today. Because guilt is one of the lowest vibrational emotions the goal here is to release your shadow before it has the time or chance to develop into something deeper and darker if you're releasing your demons every four weeks there's less of a chance of them coming back to haunt you at a later date there is less of a chance that they will weigh you down in the future you know when you're laying down in bed in the middle of the night and you're thinking about that one thing that one thing that was like super embarrassing or that one thing that you still feel guilty about that you probably shouldn't have said or wish you didn't do or that one time you did this person wrong or whatever by freeing ourselves we are freeing more space internally for more growth and development which was the whole thing we're using time to our advantage by releasing and freeing ourselves we are actively exercising forgiveness like we're exercising our muscles daily or yeah, we exercise, we exercise our muscles daily, even if you don't think that you are, you are. I have a few different effective methods that I personally like to use to forgive myself, because I know I can be personally very hard on myself sometimes, but if I started to get into it, that would be, that would just consume the rest of the video. So leave a comment down below or like this video if you want me to go into how I specifically forgive myself. That is very, very important to me. And I believe that is very important for everyone else to do also. Like I said, it is just so very important to release your shadow before it develops into something bigger when we release our shadows on a regular basis we become better humans and we free up more space like i was saying before i don't mean to repeat myself but i just really want to stress how important this step is it is harder to recognize the root of your shadow as you go on with your life something that you did negatively something that you did like i was talking about something that oh i spoke on like 
regular shit like oh i was a bitch this this month or whatever but like if you actually did some shit or like say you cheated or you did something like super super not right super out of your character that is something that can develop into something way more negative and way heavier i don't know how else to describe it but that can something like that can just really weigh you down in the worst way possible so you really need to release all these things with every every four weeks that's the best most effective way to do this I mean, every day is the most effective way to do this, but we don't got time for that. You know, you forget, we can't have, I mean, do what you want. The end of the month is for releasing and the beginning of the month is for receiving. That's why all this stuff in here, all this things in my end of month ritual is very releasive. Is that a word? You're really releasing. I don't know how, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb today, it's early. The next thing that I really like to do is energy cleansing. Now this is kind of similar to, to, I do this in like so many of my videos i always do that shit something else that i like todo is <laughs> energy cleansing now this is very similar to spiritual showers and baths but it's not the same because by energy cleansing you are intentionally ridding your body and spirit of any negativity and stress that you've put on yourself from the last month whereas spiritual baths and stuff like that i feel like i personally at least when i'm taking a spiritual shower or bath i really ask upon like my angels and ask upon the elements and really protect my space and really focus on inviting something into my life and or releasing something specific you can take a spiritual bath or shower instead but i like to energy cleanse because like i said the end of the month is about releasing so i would like just like to shower and completely cleanse my body of everything that is weighing me down still or rid myself of any negative emotions that i keep putting out into my space like i'm not gonna i don't have enough money this month oh i don't have no friends this month whatever you keep saying in your head this month that is weighing you down you want to just get rid of you want to get rid of all the negative emotions so you can make the space for the positive affirmations and the next thing that i like to do this is specifically for again i like to specifically do these things on the last day of the month i like to hydrate at an intense level <laughs> on the last day of every month did y'all know there's something called overhydration there is there's something called overhydration so it's not good to do this every day but obviously stay hydrated every day but i'm talking about like i go crazy on the last day of every month like i really i'll wake up and chug like a big ass jug of water right after that i'll make myself a cup of tea right after my tea i'll make more water right after that make more water right after that i'll make more because i put like lemons and cucumbers in my water usually so that's why i said make my water and i'll have more water and and then I'll have more tea and more tea and more tea and more tea and then I'll have a cup of coffee and then I'll have more water so I will continually hydrate all day on the last day of every month I want to release everything from my body so I feel really really cleansed on the first day of the month and ready for my first day of the month beginning of the month ritual which to me is very very important also I don't know which I don't know which ritual I like better I do I feel like I don't know because the end of the month ritual is very very like it always feels like you're really getting rid of everything that's been weighing you down you are creating space the beginning of the month it's very much about receiving and affirming and intuition and it goes more into depth on things that you can physically do and physically prepare for it's way more mentally stimulating than this as in because this is still mentally stimulating but this is like energetically stimulating i feel like and energetically like i said releasive but the beginning of the month ritual is very very goal dream oriented yeah i don't know i get super super excited about my beginning of the month ritual i think i think that one's my favorite i think the beginning of the month ritual is definitely my favorite so keep your eyes out for that video give this video a like comment subscribe check out my spiritual perspectives playlist which i will be linking right above here and i'll be linking in the description box down below along with some other video recommendations i am super excited to continue to share with you guys all of my ideas and rituals because i feel like I have so much to give and I just really want to share this with y'all. Love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the shower. I mean, did I say that out loud? But you didn't energetically cleanse yet, right? Because we can... You're already here, right? We can... No, not like that. Unless... No, 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 no. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I shower with all my friends. Okay, fine. See, now you're just getting on my nerves. Now you're just getting on my nerves. You're taking this to a whole new level. I'll see you in the next video. I still love you. Bye.
uh, also i don't know why i just filmed that whole thing in, my, in that ugly ass shirt like now i'm gonna have to i just changed out of my shit because i didn't want to actually wear that for the rest of the day and now i gotta take my thumbnail and make it seem like i'm deceiving you guys i'm not i promise all right bye for real bye for real